Hi everybody, welcome back to Time Predicts and this is another reading and uh, these are your three piles. People enjoy the pile system. <laughs> so uh, here it is, pick a pile. So I'll tell you exactly why I have kept these ones, uh, you know, up upside down and the other ones turned up. So exactly, but here are your piles. So uh, see which one you like. I'm going to keep it like this because yes, I've... Uh, so this is pile number one, okay. Pile number one are your energy cards. Pile number two are your Earth Oracle, and pile number three are your regular Raider weight cards. So, uh, see which one are you getting more attracted to? Here are the three uh, piles, and we are doing next 48 hours for you. So this is not love message reading. This we have done enough love messages reading. So this is which pile uh, are you getting attracted to? And next 48 hours, what's going to happen? So I'm going to take away the other piles, and I'm going to keep it here, okay? And uh, yeah, I've kept them uh, in a particular fashion because I had taken four cards out each and I wanted to read them. So, um, yes, let me take the four cards out. Yeah, yeah. So just leaving it like this because I want to read it this way. Yes, this was how it was and this is how it is. So people who've chosen pile number one, I've taken four cards out. People enjoy when I uh, do the shuffling live. That's what I've gotten to know and that's what people like. So I'm going to do that. Here are the angels and uh, thanks for uh, joining me. So let's see what are uh, your messages, quick messages next 48 hours. I'm going to show you at the end of the deck what I got. I did take four cards out from each deck, but you chose the energy deck. So maybe you need a lot of energy. Maybe you have a lot of energy next next two days. It is all about energies. Do you, um, do you have healing powers? I get you also have healing powers and you use energies to heal people. So... Um, I feel tomorrow is a good day. I'm going to add plus one. So whenever you're going to list, uh, whenever you're, you are listening to this, the next day should be really good, nice, uh, shining, a uh, lot of energy, getting up with a lot of energy. You're going to get a lot of things done tomorrow, you know, because this is next two days. So next 48 hours, I feel getting a lot of things done together, feeling bright, feeling happy. If you've been feeling low, if you've been feeling depressed, all that will go. Okay, it's almost like a poem. <laughs> if you're feeling depressed, all that will go. If you've been feeling low, okay, that's great news because look at this sun shining, bright, happy moments and getting up. I get getting up from the bed from a lot of energy. Probably you were not feeling well and uh, this is the energy you needed uh, to feel better. So I'm going to use these cards because I took them out. I'm going to also shuffle live, okay. Let's see. Can you see them? Okay. So this is, uh, I feel uh, right now, uh, next two days, uh, it's not going to be a very emotional time. You're going to make a lot of decisions with your head. I think it's uh, it's time. Time has come to make decisions with the head. You know, it's you've uh, put your heart on the line and given too much pain to your heart. But right now, it's a time where you keep emotions on the side the next two days. And I think it's important that you keep emotions, uh, you know, aside and see what happens, what decisions can you make. The anxiety levels are going to go lower because naturally this is what you will feel like. You'll feel bright, you'll feel much better. I feel you'll, you'll feel more controlled, more calm, um, you know, um, much happier. And if uh, you were anxious about something, it's going to go. So next 48 hours, you're going to enjoy because what's gone is gone. All your anxiety, I don't know why were you so anxious. I have no idea because every situation is different, remember. So I get anxiety and uh, feeling much better less anxious in control bright happy and uh, and uh, let's see what are the other cards that i get so the thinking woman that's what you're going to be doing thinking a lot otherwise so maybe planning out i think you it was you were struggling to get out of your bed i don't want to say it was depression but somewhere i get sorry i'm just uh, <laughs> just uh, you know uh, sitting in a different way so i think uh, you were kind of uh, you you are thinking uh, you are the thinking woman here because what you were doing is it was very difficult so purple is your color because i just took out the purple uh, color and that is your lucky color so uh thinking would be what to do uh, next i think it's very important something was getting you down but you got back in your feet and uh, you like i'm going to manage this you know and uh, my time has come it's like you've done all your procrastination all your feeling depressed and everything and you're like you're back on your feet and that's the energy that i love you know having a spring in your step and and feeling fresh somehow sorry i'm just adjusting so that i can give you the best view you know i normally don't uh, use it this way but let's see 
tell me if it's fine for you also viewers <laughs> okay and uh, hostility is also came reversed which is awesome because these cards anxiety and uh, hostility when it uh, it comes reversed it means that you know you do not find uh, the situation hostile anymore or you're not fighting with the situation or you're not fighting with the person I also get a very big message is you're making peace with whatever you have you know a lot of times when you can't do anything about a situation you make peace with it and you move on you know or you're like okay this is it either I can make the situation better or I can move on or I can stay in bed and just feeling uh, keep feeling bad but I think you've pushed yourself out and you're gonna feel uh, better I don't know why I have to use uh, sorry things falling because I'm sitting in a funny way I'm gonna pick it up I'm so sorry guys my uh, videos can be weird but as long as you're getting the messages I don't really care so uh, I want to use this deck it says believe in your magic and I think there is a message for you in this deck i don't know why i have to take it out and uh, it's like calling out to me you know because i have to give you a message so purple is your color lucky color numbers i'm not doing i cannot find my dice i just wanted to do this reading i was like i have to give these uh, messages so let's see probably what is the message for you okay be honest with yourself so you actually this belongs here that's why i wanted to say this and uh it says do not seek anybody's approval at the end of the deck which means you give yourself approvals you love yourself you do not need you do not need anybody's approvals how to live your life this is you this is you taking uh, stock of things and this is you getting up smelling up uh, smelling the flowers i think it was difficult for you to get out of the bed i don't know why i have to say it again and again guys if you've chosen file number one if this was how you feeling you know for a few days that very difficult to push yourself out you will be back on your feet and i think it's all beautiful and look at this, you've got to be honest with yourself. Some way you did realize your situation. Like I said, you have made peace with your situation. You know that, uh, sorry, the situation cannot change and I have to make peace with it. Look at this. And you cannot lie to, uh, to yourself anymore. I mean, uh, you'll have to sell. Uh, uh, why did I say sell? Is sell important? I don't know. I mean, tell me if sell is important. Are you selling something which is important to you? Okay, I don't know. It just came in it as a channel message, you know. Are you selling something, a car or something which is very important to you? You felt bad. Did you sell something? Um, like a house, uh, you were holding on to something. You did not want to sell it. Sometimes you have to sell things because you have to pay a loan or something. But definitely I get that. Tell me if you chose pile number one and that message was for you. So I get uh, a flower uh, here. So something to do with yellow also. Do you have yellow flowers around you? Do you like the color yellow? It's also what I get. So you've got to be true to yourself, guys. And uh, that's what I feel. This is uh, you realizing that you've got to be back on your feet. And I think it's a beautiful realization, guys, that you have to do, uh, you know, you have to take charge of your life. Something happened with your heart, you know. Like, like I said, you know, if somebody was messing with your heart, I feel. Sorry, guys, I will keep adjusting because I'm not finding the right angle here. But I think this is better. So, um, I, I really feel that, you know, you were adjusting to people instead of people, you know, adjusting to you. So, um, that's what I get and uh, definitely something to do with your heart. You know, look at this all upturned, your heart. You were in a very loopy situation, you know, things weren't improving. The moment you went on to improve things, again, it uh, went back. Sorry, guys, tell me if you can see it properly. Okay, I'm just bothered about the messages, but yes, you should be seeing the cards. And uh, I feel the light is less. That's what I feel. Suddenly the light becomes less. Okay. So uh, let me shuffle a few more cards live. Yeah, look at this. This is not the storm warning. I don't want you to go back into this whole thing of getting caught in a storm, you know. I, I want you to uh, tell yourself the truth and another storm is coming. Is it that, you know, you thought things were over or you do not want to do this or whatever happened. But right now you'll get again caught in a uh, storm. Just be careful. You know, next 10 days I want to say. Do not argue with someone because you are not really in the mood to argue. You do not want to pick up a fight. You're like, okay, let's not pick up a fight. Let's be okay in each other. You know, let's be okay and just live our lives the way it is. Sorry, I didn't mean it to be a love reading, but sometimes it happens because that's the most important thing you were looking for. And I think you are really attached to someone. It's been five years, five weeks, five months, something to do with five days. You you have to be true to yourself. Look at the mask you're removing. You know, you, you become somebody else with that person, you know. You you are not your true self. Uh, the person changed you, the circumstances changed you, but definitely you got chained to someone, you know, somebody's thoughts, beliefs. You started thinking the way they do. So six months from now is gonna be good for you for love if you actually get 
over with this um, kind of energy i think it's a new journey could be a new job also with this i get a new job you know i got a new journey card let me show it to you so this is beautiful and with this new journey i really feel that either you moving to a new place either you are leaving things behind maybe that's the carefree attitude of getting up packing up your bags and saying okay i need a break or i need to change where i live or maybe you sold your house why would i say that you know you sold your house and look how patience is upturned now i mean you run out of patience and that's when you got up and said that i have to take things on uh, you know under my control that's what i feel this is for next 48 hours so money coming in i feel from somewhere it's like like imagine it's like money rushing in you know with the wind <laughs> so wind is carrying it it's a windfall okay it's a gain i mean uh, great and i was holding the cards like this guys i haven't done anything look at this card so there is some kind of gain you know there is wealth when it comes to wealth money i think it's good news for you because look at this card it says cornucopia and look at the wealth abundance everything and 11 numbers so something is going to be it's going to be lucky some kind of wish uh, relating to a job money increase a better job a better money somewhere is definitely coming towards you that's what i feel so that was for you pile number 1 i'm going to move on to pile number 2 let's see what are the messages i'm going to sort those later so yes pile number 2 was earth so if you've chosen the earth signs i've kept the cards i've taken a few cards out but people like me shuffling uh, cards live also so i'm going to do that and you will have to bear with me when it summers with the stupid noise of the mac i'm sorry guys i wish i could help so um what i feel is uh sorry i think uh, this card no this card did come out like this and that's how i remember so uh, this is about uh, this is about somebody passing on knowledge in your family this is about your grandparents visiting you this is about your parents visiting you this is about some kind of wealth coming from the family to you some kind of information uh, but something been passed on like a secret some kind of wealth some kind of house uh, parents coming to live with you grandparents coming to live with you but this is something to do with generations you know i didn't want to see a curse from the generation but i don't know why did you think that uh, you know am i carrying a curse i mean is that is that your thoughts you're not carrying any curse but you think like that that probably you know nothing is going right am i carrying somebody else's curse or is this curse so that's what i feel Yes, that this card did come reversed in my hand, and it's a synergy. So it's like, you, see, the lighting has got better. I mean, I keep changing just to see the right lighting. Not working well with others. Not the partnership. Not working well. Not understanding the other point of view. Others' point of view. I think you're just talking, talking, talking. Okay, these are all channel messages. So you're just talking, 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 and you're not listening to somebody. You're not wanting to work with someone. Either it's at work or. at home this is not a love reading so this could be work or it could be home also or or with a lover but definitely right now synergies are not fine you know you're not you're not looking at the same thing with same eyes you know you, it's good to have different point of views but it's actually the same thing but you guys are not agreeing on something i think you're not coming down to some kind of an agreement uh, you know where it should be some agreement that you have to um, say a yes and one of the party is probably backing out but yes i feel a uh, you need to work together i mean with your connections with people you know i feel nurturing is important right now probably a kid or someone at home or somebody who really uh, needs your love and care is actually calling out to you you need you need to be there with the person who needs your love and attention and i feel that you know look at when you water something how beautiful it grows so i think something needs your attention and love or probably you're not connecting well to others i don't know why you totally out of sync okay that's the word i was wanting to use you totally out of sync with something and uh, not working well with someone and uh, yeah and somewhere you need to be more nurturing because this card is upright and i really feel that somewhere you need to put in more effort you need to be more you need to love someone more so that's what i feel so let's see what are the other messages what another card which is almost not ancestral but it's something to do with healing do you are you following somebody who your grandparents used to follow go to the same doctor a uh, healer follow some uh, some god i mean has somebody handed you something that belong to your grandparents i also feel you believe in um, you know alternate healing i feel got to get wiser you know i don't know why i want to say say this but you got to get wiser on something uh I think somebody older than you is trying to say that you need to be wiser. You need to, uh, you know, be a little maturer. 
or probably the situation you are in if you're not getting along with uh, people you know you're not handling it well but guys this is a big guidance for you that you've got to ha um, you know handle things well stillness has come uh, you know reversed and i feel uh, there's a nervous energy about this whole thing you know maybe that's why you know you're not relaxed if you're not relaxed you're not uh, working well with other synchronization is not right if you are not relaxed because i feel um, your energy is going everywhere you know it's like almost like a live wire i can see i can see a wire in my mind you know that's almost charged and uh, that's how i see it like you would see lightning that's how i see it you know and uh, and i and i feel and i feel a lot of nervous energy you know a lot of en uh, nervous energy it's also underneath you know when you've hidden a lot of things are hidden a lot of feelings and here is the fog card and it did come um, you know in reverse so if you've hidden something it's you just bursting you know it's like you're almost going to cry you want to say something or there's a lot of things hidden inside you is what i get so you know wanting to take everything out a situation should change you know whatever it is i think the situation should change from uh, you know it should it should um, from bad it should be better that's what i feel because definitely there is a shift in something in energies there's a shift in situation it's also better times you know i feel you going through some lot of uh, restless nervous energy and really wanting you know you like the stillness card also came reverse you really want peace and calm in your life and you know you want the whole situation to shift and this is what you feel you feel like it's it's a storm right now you know and uh, that's how you feel that you wish the storm would go away the clouds would go away and you could say at least uh, see clearly you know that song uh, it's coming to my uh, mind you know i i you know uh, uh, oh god okay i've forgotten the lyrics you know that uh, what was it sorry guys i'm forgetting the song and i used to really like the song i i think it's like i can clearly see the rain is going you know something like that sorry yeah okay yeah it was something like i can clearly see now that the rain is gone you know something you're waiting for things to settle to move on stay grounded guys because with so much restless energy i don't want you to take any or make any decisions that are not right for you or are not good for you purple is going to be a good color i took out the purple pen so i think for all three piles purple is going to be a good color that's what i'm picking up i'm seeing a lot of purple the moment i don't know what happens when i pick up a color and all i see is you know the same color so look at this look at the purple energy around you know that's what i feel of course new beginning i told you i mean you can see the clouds passing that's what the song said and the person can see clearly because you know the clouds are passing and it's a clear bright sky and that's what it's going to be a new beginning so all your restlessness all bad things that happened in your life all uh, i'm not going to say ups naturally ups is good all the downs that happened you know and uh, that that's going to go and this is next 48 hours you'll see a change you know that's how the situation will change and things will be much better for you because there are new beginnings here this is beautiful look at this earth fairy is here the earth magic fairy is here and this is what the oracle is about so you're going to get blessed you know i feel anything related to land will bless you it's like either selling a property selling something selling a piece of land but staying grounded will help you quite a lot so that's my biggest uh, message to you stay grounded you know no matter what happens no matter you know um, if if the tornadoes around you want to uproot you you got to stay grounded believe in yourself and um, i feel that uh, things will change like we always say things don't remain the same ever so uh, next 48 hours you're going to see a change it's going to be for the better look at this tower unplug and relax for a spell so do your spells do your manifestations just relax you know that's what you need i think uh, bad times or uh, difficult times will pass slow down and celebrate yourself so somewhere celebrate yourself don't forget that it's important to celebrate yourself and not just worry about what's happening around you because things will happen you know the storm will pass things will settle down you just enjoy yourself just i also feel that you're witnessing a situ witnessing a situation you have no control over and it's like you know you can just just see it and be happy and you're like okay i can't control it let it pass you know there's nothing i can do you know sometimes you want to try you want to rescue the situation you want to do something in the situation you know but but you know you can, nothing can be done all you can do is uh, sit and wait and watch and let's see you know what happens so I think that should be your energy. I think I want to say that this is your energy. Like really don't care what's happening, you know. It, it's it's going to happen. It's not in your control. 
and the clouds are going to pass is the biggest message okay guys so this was your reading file number two i'm going to move on to file number three let's see what are the messages sorry the mac is going to make a sound it's going to make a noise people love pick a pile so i've done that i just took four cards out otherwise i'm going to shuffle live also people also like when i shuffle live so i always take uh, the comments seriously <laughs> i take them seriously sorry uh, that was a hindi word it happens because i talk fast and i'm mixed so guys uh, this is for next 48 hours i took some cards out and i'm going to shuffle live and give you some cards first pile and second pile were really different let's see what this one brings to you okay yeah i remember seeing this okay so this is stabilizing energy you know next 48 hours uh, feeling more stable uh, stability in your life somebody's going to bring stability any kind of news that's going to bring stability it's almost family life uh, is is better is is um you know it's like somebody is in command somebody mature is in command around you or you know in your life and you kind of feel good probably you're the kind who is very nervous but there is already uh, someone who's always always watching your back so this is good news money coming your way i feel you're quite an earth sign here or you're an air sign so i feel money coming in your way as as in good news that's what i feel something is coming your way you know something that will give you a more stable life or you know you will not have to worry about your finances if you've been struggling about you know where will my next um, month's money come from or if you're worrying that will i make a sale i really feel you want to get sta more stable in your life you know when it comes to works so you do not have to worry about it something's going to um, you know suddenly stop in your life or start in your life normally tower is you know uh, some kind of uh, you know the, the tower moment is actually something happening very suddenly that's what i feel you know and when people see the tower card they're like uh, oh my god you know look at this people falling out and this i also feel you yourself falling out of uh, the whole thing and rescuing yourself you know this is you know something bad is coming this is also um I'm seeing this card very differently today. So this is also you jumping from the tower because you know the tower is on fire. So this could be a bad relationship, a bad job, or a bad situation where you where you know you have to jump off. You know you have to leave it behind. Otherwise, you will be caught in it. You know you know the lightning is coming here. So you know it could be you know a job scene where things are not going right, and you know that you have to get out. So you like not waiting for them to say something. You know a lot of times people keep waiting. Okay, maybe I can spend one more month. Maybe will they will not ask me to go. But definitely there's a new beginning and you're going to take the jump and i think this is also taking a risk somewhere and which is good because you know what you're leaving behind is fine you know if you take this risk is it be is it is better for you that's what i feel so some kind of fighting going on i do not know what it is i mean probably a uh, mismatch of understanding mismatch of values and uh, you know things not right so this is uh, you know things not right or something were not right but next two days I, I feel just be careful with your anger or just be careful do not pick up a fight yeah because it could be that you know there's a problem and suddenly this situation comes you know comes up like it could be with a lover or otherwise with people that suddenly you know you're putting things on fire is actually a fight here that's what I get again you know uh, things things get nasty that's the another message that I get so be careful the next two days I do not want you to you know burn your own house or burn the bridges with someone okay that's the message that's a big message because I feel you've been frustrated of for for something. You know your work has been so much. I feel your current job is not paying you much. The current job is not really good. But this one, this pile, it's totally different. So um, you're carrying the burden of your job. You know uh, you also know that what you wanted is a little far away. Probably the kind of goals that you had set for yourself weren't really right. But I think in these two days you got to reset your goals. The biggest message I'm getting is. You got to re reset something, you know, realign yourself. The words that I get are reset, realign, uh, rethink, reimagine, not right. So that's what you got to do. Yeah, I, you know, sorry, I'm going to shuffle it again. I don't know what side I picked up because I was thinking something else. My mind was giving, you know, wanted to give you more messages. So let's see if that comes up again. Um, there are no two choices here you will be forced to take a step okay that's what i get sometimes you know um you uh, you are thinking should i stay should i go is the job good for me bad for me 
I have time I can decide later this this will force you to make the immediate choice it will not leave you with any choice the, another big message channel message I'm getting is you will not be left with any choice you know you will have to take that this big step so I know what it is it's 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 risky but you have to take that step see there is movement in your life so I feel wherever you are right now you will have to move from there it's either your job your relationship going somewhere else things moving in your uh, job you're getting transferred somewhere but this is definitely a time for movement i mean there is no choice the word that i get with that card is upturned is there is no choice and i'm telling you again and again this is the message that i'm getting for the spirit guide see because you have to get more money you're not happy with what you're doing look at this you're carrying a burden here your goals seem to be too far uh, far probably you're not getting promotions the kind of, uh, you know, you thought you were going to climb the ladder of success very fast, but that's not happening. Look at this. And you have to follow the tower moment. You have to follow your heart. You probably have to follow your instinct or listen to your gut feeling. And you know that your time is up somewhere. And that's why uh, I could see that person jumping out of the tower. Because you, the person knows that I cannot do anything here. You know, I have to jump out. If I do not jump out. Uh, the fire is going to destroy me and that's how you're feeling wherever you are as a job love a family i do not know but you've got to get out of there is my very big big guidance to you look at this guys this is what it is for some of you or a few of you who are in love this is you it's a third party situation and you know you cannot be in this situation guys it's very clear you got to get out of it you know you've got to get out of it if you do not get out of it you're going to get tangled more it's a problem it's a hassle I'm going to clear the energies because I don't think that card belonged here. Yes. Well, then you can always rewrite the story. I told you. That's why I was not taking the other card. This is rewriting your own story, guys. Look at this. You have to rewrite your own story. Remember I said it is about realigning. You got to be out of the situation, okay? This situation was fine the way it was, but it cannot be like this anymore. You have, you have to restart. Even if you don't restart, you have to start from where you are. I mean, you have to go another way. This is this is not for you. That's what I feel. This is not for you. And you've got 11 number here. Feather. Think first before you judge. Or else, and also, you know, if you are in that moment where you're judging somebody and ending, somebody, ending something, be careful because it might not be right also. I get another very big message, guys. You might be thinking there's a situation. It could all be in your head. So do not judge too quick because I feel you judge too quick. Maybe you think it's a third party, but the other person could just be a friend. Maybe you're thinking the boss is not uh, fine. They're not giving you a promotion. But after a week, you might get a promotion. So these two days, be very um, careful about what you're uh, thinking, what you're doing. Because look at this. I just saw this card. Look at the way the woman is flying. Another tower thing. So it's, it's you will, you know, you will either, you know, you will jump. So I don't want you to fall down because that decision could be, uh, you know, that time right for you. But you have to really think, judge, see, you want to fly or what? You know, because in that tower, one person was falling and it's it's one foot to one. Another person is giving uh, wings. So I think it's all dependent on your decisions. Either you will just fall flat or either you will fly. So there's a big decision to be made, guys. So those were your messages. I hope you enjoyed your reading next 48 hours. I'll be back for another reading soon. Take care and uh, see you. Bye, guys. Have a nice day. Do subscribe to my channel. Do like it if you uh, like my readings. And I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.